Hello, uh, welcome to Rampant Pyanodon, uh, episode 5. Last episode, we worked on the copper plates, tin plates, and lead plates. In this episode, we are going to work on the iron plates, steel plates, and titanium plates, uh, starting with the titanium plates. So let's get right to it. Okay, so you know the drill now. Clear a nice area. Make the recipe. I actually have to do the recipe twice because I ended up using one with ball mills. Uh, I reused a lot of the components from the copper plate, uh, or the copper plate furnace thing uh, because it well it's a lot of the same it's automated screeners and jaw crushers here we have more automated screeners but instead of jaw crushers in the middle they're actually going to get replaced by secondary crushers which I eventually realized I could just put it all in one nice big line and just adjust some of the belt inputs so this one it, it's it's cool it's like the other builds except it's got two stages right so you take the iron ore and you screen it and it turns into titanium grade one and two and then you take some of the grade one and you turn that into two as well uh, and then we take all of titanium grade two and we turn it to titanium grade three with some titanium rejects and we take those rejects and we turn those into three so basically we just move up the chain from titanium grade one to two to two to three and have some rejects to three as well and the three is what we end up putting in these advanced foundries the advanced foundries took a very long time to figure out how i was going to get it right but i mean eventually i do get it we need 37.5 of them so i settle on 13 times three which is 39 not bad we have two main byproducts for our titanium plate system here it is uh, 3.2 gravel and 7.8 stone uh, per second. Again, the iron, I mean, the titanium ore we need is 78.2 in and 15 uh, titanium plates out. At this point, it is pretty much done. I start working on some decorations, which I promptly uh, go over, uh, and then I expand it to so I triple it so it can reach its 15 titanium plate potential. Uh, and then we are working on decorations again. Uh, and that was the final copy paste where I just kind of cut it, make sure it's fresh, put the system in, uh, then I work on the decorations and I let it run and eventually uh, the titanium plate does uh, get to around 15. Again, there's, sometimes it gets caught up. I'm not exactly sure why, but I mean, it's, it's usually pretty good. Uh, and this is pretty much done, so we can zoom in and slow it down a little bit uh, to just enjoy uh, enjoy it. Okay, well, that was titanium plates. That was quite a mess, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I'll leave that to the me of the past to explain why it was a mess. And so, ironum plates tier two. Let's get to it. Okay, I yarn plates tier two. Start off by making the recipe. It's very similar. It's just jaw crushers and advanced foundries again. Not the same ratio as lead plate. So I basically just copy pasted lead plate and I was going to place it here. But uh, it needs it needs more of both. So a total of 30 jaw crushers and then 90 advanced foundries, which is a ton of advanced foundries if you ask me. Uh, so how it works is that we take iron ore as an input, they go into the jaw crushers and turn it to stone and processed iron. The processed iron then flows out and gets turned into iron plates, so pretty simple. And then we have stone as a byproduct, and this produces, of course, one yellow belt of iron plates. Uh, at this point, I'm testing it out and realize I'm getting roughly a third, uh, and this is because I messed up the processed iron. We need 45 processed iron per second. Um, so everything else is fine. We have 15 stone per second, 15 plates. That can all fit on one belt, but we actually need to split up the uh, processed iron into three separate sections. So I process it so that every 30 foundries has 15 processed iron per second uh, to deal with, and... After we let it run here, you can see the belts. Um, we can see the belts slowly fill up to to, to a full belt of iron plates. Uh, here, actually, I realized that I forget to connect up the last block's iron plates. So we make iron plates and they never actually connect. But as soon as I connect them, we get the full the the full 15 iron plates per second. And it's not the biggest build. I kind of I kind of like how there's three separate sections. But uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, 
And then after that, uh, on to the Steel Plates Tier 2. Uh, but actually I'm lying because instead of doing steel plates tier 2, I found an issue with the... I found a fix for titanium plates and it was uh, a way to get the throughput a little bit faster uh, at the end. So I actually fixed this up and I, I decided to show it because I was actually experimenting with stuttering the, the, the fast forward uh, and, you know, return to resume by having to go from like 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times, 10 times speed, 20, 30, 40, 50, instead of just cutting straight to 50. Uh, and I think it could work. Um, I just need to cut it a little bit shorter, but here is titanium plates all fixed up and Now we're gonna move on to steel plates tier 2 Okay, steel plates tier 2 first thing of course is we make the recipe and here's where I realized that um, Steel plates tier 2 might not be possible to get 15 per second because we would need a total of 240 advanced foundries. We'd also need 75 coke per second that is seven full belts of coke we are definitely not producing that we also need 120 belts or sorry 120 iron ore per second and 1.5k water which is just two offshore water pumps which is not bad but 120 iron ore per second is six yes it's it's six it's six yellow belts of iron ore which we may have which we may not have but it was just a little bit too much for me so i decided to reduce it down uh to producing about six uh six steel plates per second uh because i don't think i'd ever really get to 15 most of the other builds i don't think i'll get to 15 either but this one especially uh, i was not going to get there but basically how it works is we have three inputs coke the iron ore uh, and limestone, we just uh, pair each advanced foundry with a soil extractor to get the limestone because the ratios are good enough. We only needed 75 limestone, but we needed 96 foundries, so I thought we might as well just pair them one to one. Um, but basically, the water gets us the limestone, then we put the coke, the limestone, and the iron ore into the advanced foundries, and it spits out the iron plates. Uh, Yeah, and as you can see, it takes a long time to get it all running, but uh, eventually it works, and this is what we're left with. I'll give you a second to enjoy it. But yeah, that was steel plates tier 2, and over here it looks like I'm going to start doing duralumin plates. Uh, but actually, psych, we're not going to do duralumin. I realize there's a couple other plates we haven't done yet. There's no new recipe, but I was like, I want to increase production to match with the rest of them. Uh, aluminum plates, We, if we want 15 per second, we only need 22.5 steel furni, but we need a ridiculous 150 aluminum plates per second. Uh, 150 is, that is, <laughs> if I do my math real quick, Ten? I think it's 10 belts. Yeah, the 150 divided by 15 is 10. That is 10 belts per second. So we would need two full stacked aluminum ore, which is not going to happen. But the build is small enough that I was like, we might as well just let it go there and backlog enough. Zinc is just as ridiculous, except we need 56.3 uh, uh, steel furni instead. And uh, we still need just 150 zinc plates. Next, uh, I decided to do a little bit of lead oxide on the side just because we have um, so not lead, iron oxide, uh, we have iron oxide anyway. So I spent a lot of time getting a design there going, uh, and that, it only requires two steel furni, and it produces a full belt of iron. Uh, and with that out of the way, we have finished uh, the aluminum plates, the zinc plates, the duralumin plates, and the iron oxide iron plates. Oh, sorry, we didn't do duralumin. Now we are going to head over and do the duralumin plates. Duralumin plates, quite simple. Um, at first I was freaking out because I thought I needed a bunch of hydrogen gas, but that was just the default fuel. Um, advanced, uh, we need smelters for this one, and we're basically going to be combining uh, aluminum and copper plates uh, in the smelter. So in order to get 15, we would need way more than we could produce. 15 duralumin plates per second is 60 aluminum plates and 30 copper plates per second. And the gigantic machines we've designed only provide for 15 of each plate. So I cut into a third, five duralumin plates per second, and that still requires 20 aluminum plates per second, which we're not going to produce. But I thought five is a nice round number, so I might as well do it. Uh, it's a pretty simple build, except for that spaghetti monster at the top. Uh, clearly, I'm losing 
sleep or I'm going crazy making all these giant builds because it's just lacking. I, like, what is that? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, we're going to be using barreled fuel using my my fuel priority system and my fuel control and then the barrels come out. Again, aluminum and copper plates in, 5 dirt element per second out, 20 smelters total. Alright, and with that, we have finished designing all 10 new furnace area plates for our new furnace area. Uh, that brings us to the real world here, where we're going to start placing them down in the next episode. Um, there is a huge problem, but we're going to face that new face problem next episode. Anyways, uh, I'd just love to give a big thanks to my patrons. Thank you once again, John Boy, Maestoso, Ima. Sterling, Simple Anglerfish, who we're building the furnace area for, and Zark. So I will see you guys in the next episode.